Hi, my name is Martin and I'm a student photonics engineer here at Optosotics. And then I'm really interested in knowing which parts of our brain is stimulated by our light. I think there's someone who can help me to answer this. Mark, let's go. Mark, can I disturb you for a second? Yes, sure. My name is Mark Henny. Uh, I'm studying biomedical engineering here at DTU, and I'm doing my master's thesis on functional magnetic resonance imaging and how this can uh, be used to quantify uh, the neural response to uh, different light stimuli. How do we know which parts of the brain is affected by the blinking light? So what we want to investigate then is uh, which parts of the neural networks in the brain that are activated when, when we experience this stimulus from the light. So a neural network is uh, the interplay between uh, neurons in different parts of the brain. And this neural network is what controls on an overall level how we act and how we react to the world around us. We see changes in the neural network in, uh, in several conditions, um, both psychiatric and uh, neurological disorders. They affect um, both um, our, what is called the uh, default mode network, which is the neural network that is engaged when we are just uh, in introspective thought. We can measure how that changes in Alzheimer's patients. And we can do that uh, using uh, something called functional magnetic resonance imaging. And what it actually utilizes is the fact that when our neurons start firing somewhere, then they require more oxygen. And that leads to an increase in the oxygen supply to the brain. And in fact, the oxygenated blood uh, changes the magnetic field around it. And that's what gives us a, a change in the image that we see. So over time, we will see a reaction in the magnetic field, which actually reflects this neural response. Um, I am building a machine learning model that is uh, designed to or, or intended to distinguish um, different types of light stimuli, actually predicting which one uh, we're stimulating with without knowing it. This will help, help us uh, figure out which parts of the brain are engaged during stimuli. So part of my um, research is into um, how we can measure the effects of different types of stimuli. And that also makes us able to um, quantify which uh, type of stimulus is best for a certain population, perhaps uh, uh, other types of neurological or psychiatric disorders, how they in that group react best to a certain type of stimulus. Thank you, Mark. Uh, thank you for that I could disturb you. For You're bit. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mark, for that uh, explanation. Now I think I understand a little better how we determine which parts of the brain our light is stimulating. Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye.